Hello, my name is Nira Jameta, and I'm a solutions engineer at CPFD Software. Uh, I'm honored to have been invited to speak during season three of the Tech Brew webinar series. Um, I'm speaking from the United States of America, where it is 4.30 a.m., and I'm excited to talk to everyone here. My talk will be discussing Barracuda Virtual Reactor, CPFD Software's flagship software, and the newest software package uh, added to the Altair Partner Alliance. I hope everyone can see and hear my presentation clearly. If you have any questions during my talk, please submit them via GoToWebinar uh, uh, in the chat, and we will set aside time at the end to answer your questions. If I don't get to your question, we will make sure to follow up with you shortly afterwards. Uh, additionally, the webinar is being recorded and playback will be made available. I have been asked to let you know that approximately 25 minutes into the webinar at uh, 4.25, a survey question will be presented to members of the audience, uh, asking if you'd like to know more about the current topic. So without further ado, let's begin. I'm here to discuss how to use Barracuda Virtual Reactor to simulate fluid particle systems such as fluidized beds. First, I would like to give an overview of our company, CPFD Software. Who are we? We are advancing multi-phase multi simulation and technology. Our flagship software, Barracuda Virtual Reactor, simulates the transient, three-dimensional fluid dynamics, particle physics, and thermochemistry of industrial chemical reactors. The software is used to improve reliability and performance through simulation. For industrial units, which typically run 24-7, 365 days a year, being able to look inside your system virtually offers tremendous advantages. Our customers analyze their systems, learn the root cause of issues such as underperformance, and mitigate the unintended risks of planned changes. And invariably, our customers discover other avenues of optimizations while doing this. And for users who are not quite at industrial scale yet, the software has been frequently used to bridge the gap in the research and development process, such as from lab scale to pilot scale to full scale. It allows researchers to explore a broader space of options with lower risk and a lower investment threshold. Uh, here's a quick overview of the software. Barracuda Virtual Reactor is a physics-based software package. Notably, it's the only software package on the market that operates in this space. I'll go into more detail later about what makes us unique uh, in this space. The software comes with a preprocessor uh, GUI, a grid generator, the solver itself, and it is bundled with the industry standard post-processor for CFD tools, TechPlot. Furthermore, the software is deployed practically. It runs on Linux and Windows operating systems and has been successfully used not just on local hardware, but on cloud platforms such as Rescale, Azure, and AWS. It also does not require typical HPC cluster technology, which is really common in uh, many engineering tools nowadays. Rather, Barracuda Virtual Reactor is parallelized on GPUs, giving a tremendous speed boost on relatively affordable hardware. Uh, as for what we usually simulate, there are two broad domains of applications for the software. The first one is gas particle systems, which up until very recently were effectively all the commercial simulations done in the software. These simulations include a gas phase fluid domain with solid particles and liquid droplets. For example, on the right here is a uh, typical small FCC regenerator. In terms of the fidelity of the system, there is no limit to the number of particles or droplet species, and each individual species has its own size distribution and material composition, with an unlimited amount of chemical materials available for each species. Likewise, there's no limit to the number of gas chemicals that can be uh, in the gas composition. Uh, and then the solid liquid and gas phases in the system are fully coupled to each other. The particles will displace, displace the gas, the gas acts on the particles via drag, and there is full multi-phase bidirectional heat transfer and chemical reactions. Um, last year we were excited to announce that we've, that we've expanded to a new application space of liquid-based domains. These uh, systems are liquid phase fluid with discrete particles and discrete bubbles. An example is the ebulated bed shown on the right. Like the gas phase domains, there are no limits to the material compositions or diversity of species present in the systems. 
And like in the other domain, the particles, liquid, and bubbles are all tightly coupled together in terms of their physics, hydrodynamics, heat transfer, and chemical reactions. Uh, now I want to give a quick run through of our most typical application areas. The first is refining, which historically has been our biggest customer base. A uh, common application here is studying FCC units, like the one uh, pictured here. Next, we have petrochemicals. For example, polyethylene, uh, polypropylene, uh, and catalytic dehydrogenation. Um, gasification uh, is another common use case for our software. This has historically been uh, gasification of coke or pet coke, but recently uh, we've included sustainability applications. So this is, uh, these are things such as biomass gasification or solids waste. The uh, example shown here, I will get into uh, more detail later during a case study. Uh, another area are materials and chemicals. So this includes industries such as cement, um, pigments like titanium oxide, um, applications such as ore roasting. The commonality again for all of these cases are fluidized bed reactors and broadly fluid particle systems. Uh, we also work in power generation uh, with customers across the globe, such as this example in Italy, uh, as well as recent customers in Korea. Uh, we typically are looking at a circulating fluidized beds, uh, CFB boilers. And then the space that has seen the greatest growth is clean technologies. In the past four to five years, we've seen a tremendous surge of users who use the software uh, for sustainable solutions. This includes chemical recycling, um, the uh, aforementioned uh, waste gasification, uh, efficient hydrogen production, and carbon uh, capture, for example. And we also work with researchers across the globe to study particle physics and the general principles of fluidization. Pictured here is the uh, a fluidized bed experiment from Kuipers and one of the first validation studies of our software at its uh, inception. And the most exciting aspect of being part of CPFD software is that this list grows every year. As I mentioned earlier, one uh, of the more recent developments is the ability to accurately model liquid systems, such as ebulated beds, slurry beds, or bubble columns, like um, the one pictured here. Our users uh, push the bounds of the software further than we ever could. Barracuda Virtual Reactor is constantly being used to provide virtual insights in cutting edge spaces, and we are dedicated to continually expanding the software's capabilities to keep up with the research of tomorrow. Uh, I quickly wanted to mention that we've been recognized by the industry in recent years for our work and for our software and for the work that our uh, user base does. I won't get into these awards in detail, uh, so please check out our website if you want to learn more about any of these individual awards. Uh, the one thing I wanted to note here is the variety of projects, the variety of industries and companies across the globe we've worked with for these awards. We've worked with refining companies in Australia, all the way to chemical recycling technology developers in the UK. And in recent years, we've been recognized for our work in sustainability research. So what makes Barracuda Virtual Reactor unique compared to other software packages? There are several aspects of the software that set us apart. Uh, I would like to again make a quick note here that if you have any questions about uh, these features, please do not wait until the end. You can ask them now through the GoToWebinar chat and we will make sure to get to them either in this session or follow up with you afterwards. First, uh, although the software simulates a continuous Eulerian fluid phase, the particles are discrete Lagrangian entities. By modeling each particle discreetly and resolving them against the fluid phase grid, the software allows a detailed particle definition not matched by any other package on the market. As I mentioned earlier, this means an unlimited number of types of particles, each with their own unique material composition and full particle size distribution. And by modeling each particle discreetly, we can learn more granular details uh, about particles, such as their residence time in the system. 
Next, uh, Barracuda Virtual Reactor is the only commercial software that can simulate particle flow across a broad spectrum of densities and flow regimes. For example, see the full loop reactor on the right. Uh, note the capability to model particles in both dense phase flow, uh, such as in the middle of the fluidized bed, and in dilute phase flow, such as the transport phase of particles flowing up uh, through the system. This uh, ca capability to, uh, to uh, model dense phase flow and dilute phase flow is really the goal of the software and what pushes it further. Um, this allows for full understanding of complex multi-phase systems without having to isolate individual elements of the system from one another. Uh, there are other tools on the market that can focus on certain flows. I'm sure many of you are familiar with them, but by being able to look at all of them and again, coupling their physics, chemistry, and thermal reactions, we can look at systems holistically and uh, but, but maintaining a, a fine level of detail. And so what elevates Barracudal Virtual Reactor beyond um, the typical capabilities is the thermal calculation and chemistry that is put on top of the particle physics and fluid dynamics. So all phases are linked together in thermal calculations and all phases can fully participate in chemical reactions. Uh, that means gas and liquid droplets, solid to solid, solid to gas. These, they, can all, they all interact with each other in their heat transfer and they can all participate in chemical reactions. Uh, gases can be produced and consumed, solids can be produced and consumed, and reaction kinetics can be fully defined by the user to accurately capture the uh, mechanics of their system. This feature alongside the hydrodynamic simulation is what makes the software truly applicable in industry. Uh, like I said, we are built for industry. The reactors and systems we can simulate are industrial scale. Re common reactors across the planet are several dozen meters tall with billions upon billions of particles, and we simulate those in practical timeframes. The software was designed with this in mind. And our customers, enjoy, our customers enjoy the ability to model physical and thermal and chemical interactions from lab scale to all the way up to the true industrial scale. I mentioned practical timeframes and how we deliver that is via full integration with uh, NVIDIA's GPU stack. For those unfamiliar with GPU technology, I won't be delving into that today, but I wanted to note that we were an early adopter of this technology over a decade ago, and we've enjoyed the recent boom in that space. We use NVIDIA's CUDA, uh, NVIDIA's CUDA toolkit to parallelize the software, which gives us a 50 to sometimes 500 times speed boost over traditional CPU speeds when we use multiple top of the line NVIDIA GPUs concurrently. And these algorithms are baked into the software, meaning that anytime NVIDIA releases a new GPU, those advancements in the hardware are immediately realized by uh, speed boost in Barracuda Virtual Reactor. This level of multi-GPU parallelization is a rarity in the CFD world, and we are, we are proud to be an NVIDIA preferred partner working on the bleeding edge of tech development. And uh, the cloud providers I mentioned earlier that we're deployed on, uh, Azure, Rescale, AWS, those are, they're increasingly offering GPU instancing at affordable prices which provides greater access to optimal hardware for our end users. No longer do you have to be saddled with out-of-date GPUs. You can go to the cloud and immediately access the best of the best hardware that is going to do the uh, best job of simulating your system. And I mentioned earlier about the bundled post-processor. Barracuda Virtual Reactor comes bundled with TechBlock for Barracuda. This is the industry leading tool for visualization and we're thrilled to work with them to deliver solutions. Many of the videos you've seen thus far and you will see in this presentation uh, come from TechBlock for Barracuda. But outside of visualization data, Barracuda Virtual Reactor uh, outputs data across a variety of formats from raw data dumps of the entire system to specific data uh, for certain areas, for example, taking a point or a plane across your system and analyzing uh, the exact data output at that location. Furthermore, the software is bundled with 
numerous post-processing scripts in, uh, for example, Python scripts. And these allow our users to post-process the large volume of data conveniently and efficiently. Another thing our company prides itself on is a strong network of industry leading partners across a variety of domains. We work with hardware providers, um, we work with research consortiums such as PSRI, and we work with uh, wonderful engineering platforms such as Altair. Um, we're honored to have partnerships with the best of the best across the globe. And finally, I have to mention our world-class support team. CPFD software is here to help. As an uh, Altair Partner Alliance user, if you use C uh, Barracuda Virtual Reactor through the APA, you would have full access to our support team. This includes the support materials on our website, all the way to uh, actually working with our engineers. Um, our engineers, our, our support staff is comprised of engineers with decades of industry experience who are happy to answer any question, no matter how big or small. I'm always blown away by the depth of support that they provide to our customers. I've never really seen anything like it in any other uh, industry. They really pride themselves on ensuring our customers get the most out of Barracuda Virtual Reactor. So in my remaining time, I wanna quickly run through some case studies. Uh, again, I won't be going into a lot of detail here due to the time constraints, but please reach out if you'd like any more information on any of the three case studies and we would be happy to share more information in great detail. Let's start with a traditional use case for Barracuda Virtual Reactor, risk reduction at refineries. This is the Geelong refinery in Australia. Specifically, we're looking at an FCC or fluidized catalytic cracking unit. So what we did was we modeled the regenerator pictured here on the left side of the image. For those of you familiar with refining, you might know that these reactors, which process dense hydrocarbons into commercial petroleum products, they frequently run 24 hours a day, seven days a week for years on end with a small turnaround window to make changes. In this case, the turnaround window was every five years. Um, so it's very critical that the changes done then are optimal, efficient, and um, well analyzed before they're implemented. They wanted us to diagnose an issue with their throughput as well as solve afterburn, which is uh, the phenomenon of chemical reactions taking place outside of the reactor and in the cyclones or in transport pipes. I won't go into uh, the technical details of the specific chemical engineering, but we created a simulation model, looked at the baseline and identified risk reduction and optimization areas. Then those changes were implemented in the turnaround window. The results were immediate, comparing the data since the 2016 turnaround and the data in the five years prior. Afterburn lower, afterburn was lower, and operation interventions were down by 75%. Um, throughput was up 4%, and 4% might not sound like a lot, but when you consider the scale of these refineries, that amounted to tens of thousands of dollars per day. That was just a traditional use case of making an oil and gas process more efficient. Let's move on to our second case study. Here we use Barracuda Virtual Reactor to try something completely different. This was the case I alluded to earlier. A company called TRI was assessing municipal solid waste, uh, MSW. Uh, you and I would commonly know that as garbage for its potential usability in gasification. Waste is carbon rich. So they wanted to see if they could recover the carbon and turn it into jet fuel, a very ambitious goal. To jump to the end of the story, this development was a success and the project CRE reactor is still running to this day, turning 500 tons of trash a day into fuel. And the takeaway is that we're not just modeling existing systems in Barracuda virtual reactor and tweaking them. In this case, we're using simulation software to innovate and bolster development. And what exactly do we mean by that? In traditional engineering, one would imagine you start with a pilot scale reactor, analyze it as a cold flow model, and then increase the complexity and eventually scale it to commercial use. But with simulation software developing, with simulation software delivering rapid, high fidelity results, 
That process can be smoothed out with intermediate steps, leveraging the knowledge gained along the way. So again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the talk, um, it's not just for uh, users who are uh, operating full-scale industrial plants who are seeking to troubleshoot and maintain and optimize uh, them. It's also used in the development of brand new technologies, starting from the ground floor all the way up. And finally, let's look at a case from the cement industry done by our German distributors X process. Optimizing cement calciners and appropriately evaluating alternate fuel sources will be critical in uh, the coming years. So cement is something that will never stop being used and as much of the world is increasingly urbanizing and becoming more industrial, cement production will continue uh, for the foreseeable future. And this is, um, uh, this is important that we look at this area. 5% uh, of the world's energy is used by the cement industry alone. 8% of the planet's CO2 emissions come from cement industry. And cement plants, if you uh, didn't know, they will burn anything to get the heat required for the cement process. Uh, traditionally, this has been uh, like coal. Coal is a very frequent fuel, but a plant in Brazil, for example, was chopping up tires and burning them. Um, recently, another plant in Turkey was burning recycled newspaper slips. So an issue you can run into is how are these fuels with their myriad of physical properties going to work in an existing reactor? How can I implement them efficiently without drastic changes to the structure of my system? And this is an ideal candidate for simulation study. We hold everything else constant, we make critical changes, and we analyze the results. And with simulation studies, we can explore a broad space that's not practical with physical studies and quickly hone in on optimal efficient solutions. Once again, I will gloss over the technical details and once again, please reach out to me if you'd like to learn more about this case or any of the others presented. The end of the story is that this plant replaced fossil fuels, uh, used Barracuda virtual reactor to streamline the process, and they saw a roughly 75% decrease in emissions. So that actually gets me through my planned talk. I wanna provide a quick summary for people interested in trying out Barracuda Virtual Reactor through the Altair Partner Alliance. It is a complete physics-based engineering software package it's used to model large-scale fluidized system, fluid particle systems, such as fluidized beds, across a wide range of industries. It simulates the discrete particles, the continuous fluid, and it looks at a full range of solid loadings, working with dilute particle engagement all the way to dense, bubbling fluidized bed flow. The thermal reactions and the thermal interactions and the chemical reactions are all coupled across all phases and they're resolved continuously against the time scale and against the grid. It is the software is built for industry um, with GPU and multi GPU parallelization. These simulation results can be delivered faster now than ever before and with extensible post processing through a tech plot and through a variety of other means these results can be uh, communicated and delivered conveniently, practically, and reliably. And we are supported by our world-class support team and our global partner network. The software runs on-premise, on the cloud, on lit and uh, on operating systems, on common operating systems such as Linux and Windows. Um, the software is available through software licensing, like for example, through the Altair Partner Alliance. If you have available units, you can use the software immediately, but CPFD software also works with services. So we're happy to help you with your project. We're happy to have you leverage our expertise to uh, more efficiently run your systems. And we are getting close to the 25 minute mark. So I believe the uh, survey question will begin soon. And then in the remaining five minutes, I will be answering um, uh, any questions that arise.
So survey question is live. It will take you for 30 seconds. Thank you. Okay, I'm closing the survey question. Uh, Viraj, you can go ahead. Thank you. Okay, and um, so with my remaining time, if anyone has any questions, please type them into the chat and I will be happy to answer them. I see we have a question here. Is it possible to model mass transfer uh, between liquids and discrete particles. Is it possible to observe how the viscosity of the liquid changes, e.g. mixing of soil and water, which results in mud? So mass transfer between liquids and discrete particles is possible. For example, uh, within our solid particles, we do allow for the ability for liquid film to be deposited onto the particles. So uh, Yes, there is the ability for the mass transfer component of it as well. Um, in uh, solid particles can also have volatiles, and um, so the particles themselves are also multi-phase. For the, ex the exact uh, applicability of mixing soil which and water results in mud, we do have the um, slurry bed reactors, which work with slurry, which um, again is in that kind of space of uh, dense particulate flow through liquid, creating this kind of slurry. With regards to soil and water, that specific uh, application has not been done by our software, at least not to my knowledge. But again, we're always finding new ways to use the software and our end users are the people who are doing that. So if you have a specific application in mind and you have the ability to um, run Barracuda Virtual Reactor through the APA, uh, we would love to, uh, for you to try it and we would love to uh, help you if you have any questions or uh, issues uh, as you began exploring the space. Um, do we have any other questions? I'm checking. I believe those are, uh, that was the only question so far. Um, Again, please, if you have any questions, please ask them. And if you'd like to uh, follow up, you can always email me at neeraj.metha at cpfdsoftware.com or reach out to us via the APA and we'd be happy to uh, discuss any questions about applicability. Oh, here's a question about the pricing model. So if you have Altair units, um, it's really about having the uh, available Altair units to run the software. So you will get your um, licensing through Altair, and then our software will use a set amount of that. Um, the one instance of the software requires a base amount, and if you have, use have that base amount, you have an unlimited access to the pre-processing and post-processing. So that um, once you begin using the software, there's no restriction on pre-processing or post-processing. And from there, it's about how many simulations you want to run at once and how many GPUs do you use. Those will factor in on the pricing. Um, but if you buy your units through Altair and then you can um, use our software as, uh, as, much as, as much as you'd like, we, there's no limit from our end as long as you have the capacity for it. Oh, I see here, is it uh, subscription-based or usage-based? It is not usage-based, it's subscription-based. So uh, if you have the uh, Altair units, you can use our software an unlimited amount through the time frame as long as you have enough usage, as long as you have enough units for one instance of the solver or however many instances of the solver you choose to run simultaneously. And I actually believe that 
runs us up till 4.30. So I believe we're done with this session. If you have any more questions, please do not hesitate to follow up. I uh, truly love uh, discussing the software. I would like to thank the host again for inviting me. It was a pleasure to discuss Barracuda Virtual Reactor with everyone in, ten with everyone in attendance. I'm continually excited by the work done with our software, and I hope that some of you in the audience will be developing the next groundbreaking technology with Barracuda Virtual Reactor. Thank you.